Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and don't manifest the rest. Okay? Okay. Let's see what's going on here. The World card. Seven of Cups in Reverse. Two of Swords, Ace of Wands, Eight of Swords, Justice in Reverse, Four of Wands, Queen of Wands, King of, King of Swords. So some kind of truth is coming out. It's going to be a choice that needs to be made by somebody who's on their own and charging forward. Wheel of Fortune and Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, Four of Wands, and the Magician, Virgo Gemini. So there's a lot of confusion here, a lot going on here. And somebody is leading with the wrong wand. All right. Somebody wants to make something happen. There's an attachment with this King of Cups. Capricorn energy. Like I said, I don't think you see this coming with the moon here there's there could be somebody trying to do some kind of moon magic here but it's been blocked seven of wands it's been blocked so before you even try it whoever you are know that the divine has a handle on this and it's being blocked you will not succeed at whatever you're trying to do here so you might as well just not do it what is this world card about, Spirit? What is this world card about? Moving on, on your own. Nine of Pentacles is moving on from the past and the showing train. So, there could have been some kind of brand new passionate beginning here, but somebody, they, they got birds in their hair, so that... That swing ain't happening. Anything from the past. I don't think this Queen of Cups wants anything to do with the past. What is this Two of Swords about, Spirit? What is this Two of Swords about? No, page swords in reverse. Like I said, whoever you are, just know that this is going to be blocked and stopped because it's not true. I do feel like this was some kind of lie that was told about you, and or it's a lie that somebody's trying to tell about you, and it's going to be blocked. Like I said, it's something that, ha yeah, it's going to come out. Whatever this is, you put it down. You no longer want to engage. You give me the cash. Give me the money. That's all I want. Give me what you owe me. That's what I'm hearing. Give me what you owe me. Otherwise, I don't want anything to do with you. Like I said, it's being blocked. Being blocked for everybody's highest good here. Whatever this thing is that's trying to come towards you, it is going to get exposed. Virgo energy, this lie somebody told about you, is going to come out. And 
this person is going to be stopped in their tracks. They're not going to be able to move forward. They're not going to have any choice. This person's losing money. They're losing an income. Possibly because you're, it's yours. Because it was yours to start with. So they're not, they, they may even lose their job over this because they, they did something here behind the moon and spirit stepped in and said, oh no, you don't. Oh no, you don't. They tried to come towards you. And, and maybe, maybe they lost their job because they tried to come towards you. So spirit didn't leave them any choice but to sit in their muck muck and to deal with it because they they were playing games they were lying about you they were uh you know uh, their wish was to come forward there is no new beginning here because you're not stuck there is a choice that you kind of need to make in the near future with the two of wands could be travel I feel like it's travel I don't feel like it has anything to do with love somebody's being stripped of a title here I don't know what that means whether it's um, you know maybe they're semi-famous or, or infamous or whatever they're being stripped of their strength, their title, because of the lies they told. For their reckless behavior. They don't get the Ten of Cups. Lying, cheating, and stealing. They are not allowed to come towards you for whatever, whatever kind of reunion, union, or whatever this is. They're not allowed to come towards you. They've lost their status. They've lost their place. Their strength. Whatever it was that they had. Because of this lie. What is the Wheel of Fortune and Temperance about? I feel like you're getting, you're getting your destiny. You're getting your Wheel of Fortune. Because you chose to stay balanced. And not stress about what this extra cup was that are that was being sent two of swords four of pentacles and the three of swords in reverse the two of wands in reverse So, like I said, I'm here and give me my money. I'm not hurt. I'm not broken. I'm not counting my change and I'm not confused. Give me what I want. And then you go on about your business. Give me what's owed to me. They're going to try to love bomb you. But they are way too attached to this outcome and obsessed with your energy. Spirit is not going to let them come forward. They will. They, I feel like this person is experiencing tower after tower. It's like they're losing their job. They're losing any kind of power or status that they had before because of what they did. And this is this is the what goes around comes around in the world card. So whatever they did here out of obsession, out of codependency, they're going to have to sit in it. They're going to have to sit in it. They're going to have to reap what they've sown. I mean, they don't have any choice but to sit and deal with it. The imbalance that they caused for possibly somebody who was on their destined path they caused a lot of trouble here they caused an imbalance and now they want a new beginning 
you're I feel like you're gonna get this new beginning despite their best efforts to try to stop it because I do feel like there's a significant thing coming in for you and this person is going out of their way to try to stop it even if it's just energetic because I feel like whatever they had they've been stripped of this Queen of Pentacles in reverse they can't fight you anymore. They have to give you what's fair. And like I said, they're going to offer you some kind of truce here. But it's a manipulation. And, and I feel like you cut, you cutting them before they even get started. Because you see the imbalance here. You, you, you're already on board with that. You see the devil in disguise. No matter who this person is. Like I said, they lost their job because the way they mistreated and misjudged you out of jealousy, competition. There is no fight left in this person at all. They being really reckless. I feel like they, they don't have a choice. They don't have a choice. but to make up for whatever they did. They're being completely stripped of everything. A new beginning, no winning, tower in reverse. I, I feel like you're the one who just avoided a tower. You have the power to judge them. Now, whether or not you choose to is going to be up to you. I do feel like they're trying to avoid a more anarchy in their life by coming clean about whatever they did. But like I said, spirit is blocking, stripping, taking everything away from these people that have caused so much of an imbalance in your life. You get to be the boss, so you get to tell spirit what what you want to be done right now, and I would I would choose wisely of your actions because remember what you send out you get back, it, and on, around and around and around we go. So if you're out for revenge, revenge you shall have. Like I said, goes around comes around. Seven of Pentacles. The Ten of Wands. You can choose peace. You don't have to choose to fight. Despite anything that's coming out that makes you not happy. Because there's the Three of Wands here that's telling you to kind of wait. Does it make you unhappy? Yes, it does. But to move forward in this would be unwise judgment or no judgment it would be unwise for you to retaliate even if you want to I'm here to teach you babies not to tell you to get even you're cutting these people off is going to be punishment enough because spirit is making sure they pay. Whether you see it or not, like I said, this person is still energetically trying to reach out to you. But they've been stopped, dead in their tracks. Strength and the death card. And whatever they tried to manifest for you is what they're getting back. This is a huge betrayal. They tried to take your title. They tried to take your stuff. They tried to make you have to wait on whatever it is that you were due. And like I said, you get back whatever you send out. So remember that before you pass judgment here because you have this power to do that. 
And if your wish is to see them suffer, it shall be. But, remember to illuminate yourself as to what you're sending out. Because it could get you in trouble. It could cause more problems than you need. High Priestess. I think you know this already. And I'm just here to remind you. You don't want to show this person no love? That's fine. You want a queen of swords to ask? That's fine. That will be punishment enough. Because what, what they've done, they're sitting in right now. And they know what they've done. Because the truth has all come out. Now whatever they invested in, they're stuck in. Could be a Cancer. Could be a Pisces. Whatever they invested in, they're stuck in. Trying to juggle their way out. They get now, they get whatever they put in, okay? This person's going to try to be generous to you in some way, shape, or form. But you have new love coming in. Got the lovers on the lovers here. It might not be the shiniest thing you've ever seen, but it is what's fair. And it's kind of shocking because I don't think you're expecting this. This is someone else. This is not the person that you're going to pass judgment on. Like I said, you moving on with your life, meeting someone new, and cutting people off is going to be punishment enough for this person. Because they're being stripped of everything, their, their job, their title, everything. And all they can do is watch you get what's fair to you. Four of Wands, Six of Pentacles. I feel like there's a house involved here. I don't know what that means. But I feel like maybe it's your house. And they have to give it back. They don't want to. They don't want to. Maybe they blocked love for you. And you're getting the surprise call or message because of it's not it's not blocked anymore justice is being done here justice for the betrayal libra and gemini energy i do feel like whoever these people are that did you wrong they are suffering already because maybe you blocked them. Maybe you're not talking to them. They've been exposed and they know it. And now you it feels like you're going to get some kind of brand new beginning out of this. Possibly in love with the lovers here. And they have to watch. Because of, of all the muck muck they put you through. Wheel of Fortune again on the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, you gonna shine. You are my shining star. Don't you go away. Yeah. Your destiny is to be the star. To heal no matter what was done in the dark. And not to be confused about that. And all these other people are going to have to watch you make magic, baby. They're going to have to see your glow up in real time. And they can't do anything about it because of what was done in the dark. 
You have all the tools you need to manifest this. This wheel of fortune, this star energy. And they have to watch. You get your ten of pentacles. While their whole life falls to the wayside. Can't understand how you did it. You got this page of pentacles with their broke down flower. Who's choosing to try to come back and do whatever they're supposed to do. They should have thought about that before they tried to play you. Now the choices and the options that you have are confusing because you don't know, you know, you don't know what to do with any of these people, even new love, if it's coming in. I do feel like there's an age difference here, Scorpio. But you don't, you don't, you don't know what to do with these people. And I can't tell you how to react to this because, like I said, you do have the reins here. You can pass judgment. You can get even. You can uh, give them the wrath of God, so to speak. But as I said before, you can choose to shine instead and go... I love you anyway. Bye. Or you can choose revenge, which will only get you more drama. I'm seeing you block working things out with these people and getting what's owed to you for the work that you've done. So, final outcome here is that whatever whatever choice you make here will be okay because it's kind of like a like I said a round ring around the rosy type thing. You held on to your work. You held on to whatever it was that you were supposed to do here with that Wheel of Fortune. And you're going to get your just do here. But somebody's, hang somebody's hanging by a thread. Three, four people hanging by a thread, stuck in whatever muck muck they caused you. Eight of Swords, Devil, and Three of Swords. And all they can do is watch you get what's owed to you. That is their punishment. You can choose how to see this. Or you can choose how to judge them. If you so choose to judge them. I wouldn't. I would do you and not worry about them. Direction, Guardian, choose your path. And High Priest, intend and create. Like I said, these are the ancestors. Ah, stag, trust and thrive. So, these are ancestors cards. And we're going to read them to see what they got to say. What kind of advice they got to give in this situation. Choose your path. And choose wisely. You'll have to forgive me, guys. It's hard for me to see these. But I'm doing my best. Alright. So this card says... Connect with your deepest desire. Then choose the path that will make your heart and soul sing. The direction guardian, oh gosh, card represents the angels of direction. 
These amazing angels are the ones who come to us when we are at a crossroads and don't know which way to go. When we are unaware of what is right for us or of the bigger picture, they can help us know what is best for all involved. The Direction Guardian card refers to the vision of the Hebrew prophet, prophet Ezekiel, who is said to have seen the angel with four different faces. One was a child, cherub, one was a bull, one was a lion, and one was an eagle. These four faces show the angels can appear in many guises and guide us in many different directions, but always for the highest good. So it is leading you, uh, leading you to your highest good. I would listen. I would listen if I was you. got stag where's this one like I said these are these are new so um, I'm not familiar with them at all this is a warrior symbol okay trust and thrive it says, come alive and thrive. Stand in your light and glory with grace, with grace and majesty. The stag, well, it's getting blurry. I need glasses. The stag card brings graceful and powerful medicine into your life. It is the Celtic traditions. The stag with the crown of antlers is known as the king of the forest and is a totem that brings protection, challenging times, protection in challenging times. In Native American, what does that say? Traditions, he is greatly loved for stags and deer have provided food and for the people and materials that have allowed them to create medicine items such as drums, rattles, and smudge. What does that say? Smudge fans? I don't even know what that is. Although the stag has been hunted in the past and still is, he has strength, dignity, and poise. When this card arises, it can also represent fertility and sexuality. Maybe an opportunity to explore your sexual side with your spiritual integrity supporting you on your journey. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. So you're looking awfully good to a lot of people there, Scorpio. Choose wisely. That's all I got to say. Because when, when you move forward here, your choices are going to directly affect you in, in your new life. I do feel like there's, there's lots to choose from out there. And then we got the High Priest. intend and create like I said choose wisely about how you handle this situation because you're creating another another reality with it and and, and I would choose peace this says recognize that you have the power to change your life face your fear and align with the light in many traditions, the high priest is the physical embodiment of the divine masculine. He acts as a bridge between worlds and 
is able not to not only to divine the future but to help create it too inspired by the ancient Egyptians the priest and the divine creator to the high priestess he is depicted with a hawk which is sacred to the Egyptian god Horus and holding a wand holding the wand of Anubis like I said you have the power to judge here be careful with that the Egyptian guide in the underworld the high priest is always spiritually connected and disciplined with great respect for his creator and for his particular practice in a reading this card can represent a spiritual figure leader or teacher in your life or the aspect of your path that has led you to where you are today so without these people's treachery you would not have this power remember that okay it's time to get what is fair to you but it is also time to walk away and be the high priest in your own life because whatever you direct is what will manifest don't make it war stand in your integrity well those are your messages my baby dragons please remember press the like button subscribe and share i love you guys i'll see you later bye